everyone, welcome back to the lab and today I will blow your mind on the account of running a three-phase motor and a two-phase motor on the single phase. Now before you say whoa 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 how are we going to run a three-phase motor on a single phase and a two-phase motor on a single phase? That is absolutely not possible. This is some sort of black magic. Well, no, my friends, there is absolutely no black magic involved. And uh, this is not blood, this is printer uh, paint. Don't worry about it. Anyway, uh, so there is absolutely no black magic involved. And all we're doing is we are taking a single phase like that. Excuse me for my drawing skills, but we're taking a single phase and we are adding some componentes to convert it to a three phaser and uh, yeah you got the idea so all we're doing is we're adding some components to convert a single phase into a two phase or three phase right so absolutely no black magic involved so to do what we're about to do you will need one of these this is the electronic speed control. Okay, I'm just kidding. All you will actually require is two capacitors. Because that's all we need to convert a single phase into a two phase or three phase. Now the way we're actually going to perform this trick is by taking the AC and using a two of these capacitors connected like this. negative this is a positive so by connecting a two capacitors back to back negative to negative and positive sticking outside we have created a single by power capacitor which actually is one half of the capacity so I will be using 2,000 to 100 microfarad capacitor so we will get about 1,000 uh, microfarads that should do so essentially by adding a capacitor to the one of the wires, <laughs> not like that, but you got the idea. By adding uh, the capacitor to one of the wires, uh, what the capacitor will do is actually it will shift the phase, so it's gonna look something like this. Now, this is actually something the motor can run on, even though it's a two phase or a three phase, and that's what we're going to do. All right, guys, here we go, before, uh, we go any further I have to explain this to you. So uh, here we have a couple motors here and uh, this is a three phase motors right here uh, this is a delta configuration and this is a y configuration and here we have the stepper motor or this is actually almost exactly the same as a single phase motor except there would be a capacitor here which I'm not gonna draw and uh, Essentially what we're doing is um, we will run a three phase and a two phase motor on a single phase. So um, the difference between these is typically a delta configuration is widely used in industrial motors. So that's the main uh, motors they use. and. Uh, Typically a Y configuration you'll see more on a consumer grade electronics just like this uh, uh, Three phase motor right here, which is from a DVD uh, Drive so uh, That is that and you see a stepper motor somewhere where you actually require a precision uh, movement because these are Fully controllable you can uh, control how far they go the speed and everything so these are a must in CNC machines so these motors are very easy to control with a special controller and uh, that's actually the driver for them so guys as you can see here we have a transformer right here uh, the leads come in here we have two capacitors back to back uh, negative is connected to the negative 
and uh, they are connected in series like that that gives us a bipolar capacitor that is half of the capacity which is a thousand microfarads and uh, we here we have a three phase motor on uh, all of the three uh, phases are connected there and this wire is disconnected at the moment so when I plug it in you can see nothing happens the motor does get hot pretty quick so I'm going to put it on there and as you can see it is spinning so if I try to slow it down it's it stops and then I can actually make a turn in the other direction since there is no way that we can control the rotation with this setup so it can start one way or it can start the other way so yeah anyway this is a three phase motor now in the situation of a stepper motor where we actually have uh, four wires coming out it's a little bit different situation uh, we have to actually get this right so we got two coils here and we have to connect it the proper way otherwise it will not uh, run so let me connect the first coil to the capacitor and it starts vibrating like crazy uh, did it stop oh there we go so it's still vibrating and now we have to find the right one to connect it okay now it's turning now this one has a lot of torque as well but it's very easy to change its rotation so it's not as good as the other one now it does run as you can see but it makes a lot of vibration and that is not uh, really useful because a stepper motor is not designed to be run at 60 Hertz at such a current and it got really hot since I turned it on so uh, we we'll, we're gonna shut it off like that alright guys so as you can see the motor is spinning and the gears are slowly turning and we are running this off a single phase supply it's only a matter of having the right capacitors and the phase shift now this particular motor has the same problem you can run it in both directions as you can see it's spinning uh, this way and now it's spinning that way so yeah as you can see the gear is going that way and then boom, it's going the other way, boom, going the other way, and so on. So it doesn't have any direction, you can, the motor can start in any direction at any given moment. Even when the load is applied, it will switch direction, like that. So hopefully you guys found this video interesting, if you did hit that like button down below, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So you will see more videos like this one coming out as soon as I can and keep an eye on more videos coming out I have many new videos uh, planned I'm just waiting for parts anyway thank you for watching and see you next time